what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment we have another trending news for you today and the headline here reads what is a yamu promised to noble if he wins the election is shocking a do people must resist this before it's late all right before i proceed with today's news please if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscribe button below this video just go ahead hit on that red subscribe button click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates here are the news in details the Edo State People Democratic Party Campaign Council has revealed the promise made by the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Osaji Ize Iyamu, to the national leader of the APC, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tenobu. Speaking to reporters on Wednesday in Benin, the Edo State Capital, the Edo PDP Publicity Secretary, Chris Osa Nayikare, said Ize Iyamu has promised Tenobu three slots for commissioners, seven council chairmen, and 12 board chairmen in his cabinet and government if elected governor in exchange for his support. He alleged that Tinubu has released another 10 million US dollars in addition to the compulsory 300 million, 300 million naira from Lagos State Local Government Council chairman to induce voters in the next Saturday's gubernatorial polls in the state. According to him, Nigerians watched on Tuesday how the All Progressive Congress descended to the abyss by dragging one of their national leaders to the dying campaign in a Edo State. Neikare said, bereft of ideas about how to market their candidates and breathe life into their dying campaign, Edo APC leaders switched on the panic mode and ran cap hand and wrapped cap in hand to Tinubu for oxygen and salvation. What many, however, do not know is that the satanic pact the APC governorship candidate, Pastor Saji Ize Iyamu, made with Tunibu before he agreed to make the ill fated broadcast on his behalf. Multiple sources privy to the agreement have since informed us how Ize Iyamu agreed to Tunibu's demand to nominate three commissioners, seven council chairmen, and 12 board chairmen into his cabinet and government after becoming governor in exchange for the broadcast another form of support. Of course, Izeyamu promised an open treasury in pursuance of Tinubu's presidential ambition. To emphasize this seriousness, further support from Tinubu came the way of Izeyamu after Lagos State Local Government Chairman were compelled to contribute the sum of 300 million naira to Ize Iyamu's election. Tinubu topped this up with a further 10 million US dollar cash, which is the cash they are using to con Edo people that is from the federal government euphemism for Buari support that has been denied them in appearance, security, arrangement, and INEC instruction. It, has also it was also revealed that part of the sum has been set aside for vote buying and mobilization of their lions and tiger. Edo APC leaders have shifted their attention to vote buying after realizing that they cannot defeat Governor Baseki in a free and fair contest. Wow, all right, guys. Uh, there is a very high tension right now in in Edo State, this revelation is coming from whistleblower, you get, who seems to get the source of information from inside APC. PDP Publicity Secretary says that information reaching them indicate that Ize Yamu has sold the states to the Jagaban himself. And that is, he has made a pact with Tenobu for Tenobu to, to actually um, nominate you know, seven council chairmen, you get, and some other slots, you know, in his portfolio if he becomes the governor, that is, if he wins the election. And that was how you see the um, Tinubu, you know, some Tinubu made a broadcast on Tuesday that the two people should, should, uh, should reject Ize Iyamu and went ahead to list 
the sins of Isaiah according to him. You get, and also didn't stop there and followed up with cash support. Tinubu was able to order the local government chairman in Lagos to contribute 300 million naira for Ize Iyamu's election and also went ahead to support with his own 10 million US dollars. If you convert it, that's the big money in naira. You get so you see here that there's a lot of vote buying going on. There's a video that has surfaced of um, APC giving out Ankara clothing to women for for vote buying. You get that is show your PVC and you get one Ankara clothes. So you see here that there's there's a level of desperation that is going on right now. Vote buying is against INEX rule. It goes against the tenet of the election. But you can see here that APC have gotten themselves involved in it. Though I have I've learned of that Obaseki is also involved in it, but I don't know. But I feel APC, I think the first video of you know vote buying was actually started by APC. You get but there's a rumor that Obaseki have also joined, you know, in the vote buying thing. I can't actually confirm that, but it's a possibility. It's possible he can also delve into it. So, but what we are saying here is that there is a very big rigging machine. You get the way you see Tinubu get involved in this election. I think he never got involved so seriously like that in previous elections, like in Kano and Kogi states, and even in Bayelsa state. I don't think he was so involved uh, like this. Before you see Tinubu come out to actually stake himself, you get is. Uh, it shows that something is actually wrong and that APC knew they were going to fail, they were going to lose the election if something is not done urgently. And that was why, according to this report, they ran to Tinubu for help, you get, and then Tinubu now had to help them. So what they are doing now is, you know, is, is vote buying. And guess what? They are trying to exploit the uh, poor condition of the Edo people. Because nobody, I mean, if somebody dangled 10,000 10, naira before you that, take this 10,000 naira, vote, you know, APC, nobody that will not collect that money. And in fact, people have advised, PDP have advised that it's better collect the money but vote your conscience. Collect the money, vote your conscience because these people are billionaires. They've stolen our money, collect the money and vote your conscience. That is just... The truth. So, a lot of people should show that they are more wiser and they've come of age by doing what is they needful, and that is collect the money and vote your conscience. So, guys, what do you think? Isayamu is giving us slots to Tinubu. If Chuli win the election, he has given us several slots to Tinubu, and he doesn't know what he's doing. Look at what happened to Obaseki. You know that some of these um uh, some of these appointees that you see resigning from. Obaseki's government just even up to yesterday another person resigned from Obaseki's government you get so it's and they come to APC these people were nominated by Oshomole you see so in a way they see show allegiance to Oshomole who appointed them into Obaseki's cabinet you see so now what is a should have learned he should have learned from what is happening to Obaseki and not fall into that same trap because if it by tomorrow, if he rebels against the Jagaban, the Jagaban is going to mess him up. He will mess him up right from the inside, and that is what is happening, you know, to Abaseki. The way you see people resigning and joining APC, these people were appointed by Oshomole. So, what do you guys think? Please, I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emacom TV. God bless you. Share this video to your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and other social media. God bless you for doing that. Thanks.